Welcome back to the Paranormal Review, and today we got a video called Hiding in Plain Sight, Southern Ontario Sasquatch. This is about checking up on a beauty TP structure I found over two years ago. I've recorded over 80 evenings of audio a few kilometers north of here, and I've had the Sasquatch interact with it since the start. This valley is active, and the structures are numerous. There is no hunting, fishing, camping, campfires are allowed here, and dogs must be on a leash. Again, a protected habitat seems to be a thing where these incredible creations are showing up around here. All right, let's see what's going on. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button, that way you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Here we go. Beautiful. Good morning or afternoon. It's Leanne, it's May 13th, and I'm in this beautiful protected forest and park, and I'm checking up on this beauty that I found uh, over two years. You know what I'm gonna say about this one, guys? When wind fall, when wind happens to come along and push trees over, they fall over. There's no Bigfoot's back here shoving all these trees down. And sometimes it just happens that they fall over against each other and they create these teepee-like structures. Who knows if that's what's going on here, but... And I haven't... Guys, it doesn't mean that this, these big ones that fell over, those definitely probably fell over and are leaning up probably against another tree over here somewhere, you know, out of the frame. And these other trees either fell off the trees, these branches, fell off other trees up above, or they've been stacked there, maybe by teenagers having fun, creating forts in the forest, whatnot. Um, but guys, this th there's no insulation on this. There's no pine needles. There's no other branches kind of, you know, to cover for the wind or rain coming in. Now, you might say this is a big, you might say, like I've said before, you might think this is an old Bigfoot structure. So, you know, of course there's no pine needles on it. It's been a month. It's been a two months. It's been a year. There's not going to be any more pine needles or, or branches left on this. I mean, this looks, does not look like a pine forest, right? But still, um, there would be maybe like birch leaves or some, whatever kinds of trees these are. There, there would probably be some kind of tree branches with leaves hanging over this, you know, you might say, well, you know, it's been so long that the seasons have changed, those leaves have fallen off. Even though those leaves have fallen off, there would still be branches interweaving, interwoven, and on top of this, me and my buddy on my survival channel, we went out and we made a, um, we made a uh, structure and we put pine needles, of course, as, as, as in that climate, that's where that's what we had in that environment. And some of those pine needles have completely fallen off the branches, but the branches are still hanging on, you know, in, in, in the structure. Many of the pine needles are still there even three to four years later, right? They're dead, but they're still intact on those branches three to four years later. So there's no way I'm going to buy the story. Well, yeah, it's old. That's why there's no branches on this thing, you know? Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about this one. Is this a real structure? Is it? Is, is it... So you can even see right there. I, I didn't even fast forward. That's where the tree fell. It fell from here into that right there. And she's going to say, well, there's no way that a tree fell perfectly into that little slot, guys. Well, it didn't fall into that slot. It fell into a much wider V, and then it just happened to have a slot right there, okay? It's not like it's not like the the wind barely just stuck it right there. It, there's a reason why it's there. The wind blew it. Look right here. There's another tree with a big, huge V shape right there, right? And there's another tree right here hanging into another V-shape over here. It just happens, guys. Wind knocks things over, boom, and it hits right here, it slides down into the V and gets locked into the, the, the perfect little place to get locked. Right over here, you can see another tree growing up into another V right there. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think about this one? Do you guys think this is a really a Bigfoot structure? Is it is it is it legit? Or where I'm really curious to see where this where this Bigfoot phenomenon came along, where it started. As far as these structures go, it seems like anytime you see any kind of a, a log against a tree, there's a new video popping out saying that Bigfoot's been there. Um, and there's a piece of garbage over here. So clearly there are humans over here. So maybe they were over there hanging out, built that little structure. I'm not sure where that bag's from, but there's clearly been humans in this area as well. So who knows, guys? Let me know what you guys think and please subscribe. We'll see you later.